What up, this is Ramash Kuhn covering movies, TV and entertainment and here's my review of Netflix new miniseries, Echoes. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Netflix for granting me the screeners to this entire new miniseries. They've asked me to not spill spoilers, therefore this review is spoiler free. I repeat, there are no spoilers in this video review. Wow. Echoes is abysmal, just absolutely horrid. The story is incoherent, the performances are laughable, the twists and turns are basic. And look, I get it, it's difficult sometimes to tell identical twins apart. I have friends who are identical twins, and sometimes they would have to literally announce which one is which person to me? But the premise of Echoes relies heavily on everybody being completely dumb, or at least oblivious about twins in general. And so right from the beginning, it makes the characters by default unlikable idiots all the way through. I cannot stress enough how awful this show is. Okay, despite all that, the mystery can't be all that bad, right Rama? I admit, the first few episodes capture my curiosity, got me wondering, okay, where is this going? Because it's supposed to be a missing person case, but then it turns into a lover's quarrel, which is fine, I guess. So far, it sounds like a Walmart thriller, as opposed to a Clancy or an Agatha Christie. But there's nothing really truly clever nor sophisticated about the writer's effort in trying to trick or mislead you. Every breadcrumb or every clue is more confusing than the last, and they only result in the supporting characters reacting to Gina or Lenny in the most exaggerated, most over-the-top, most over-dramatic way. And so all of the actors come off looking terrible in this. I somewhat kind of feel sorry for them. Executive produced and show run by Brian Yorkie and Quinton Peoples and written and created by Vanessa Gazy, Echoes is a mystery thriller about two identical twins, Lenny and Gina, who share a dangerous secret. Since they were children, Lenny and Gina have secretly swapped lives culminating in a double life as adults. They share two homes, two husbands, and a child, but everything in their perfectly choreographed world is thrown into disarray when one of the sisters goes missing. Starring Michelle Monaghan, Matt Bomer, Daniel Sunjata, Karen Robinson, and Maddie Nichols. So there are a total of seven episodes. Each runs about 45 minutes tops. Look, the whole switching lives thing is not a spoiler. It's in the trailer, it's in the official synopsis, and that is the thing that Michelle Monaghan's character keeps playing out throughout much of the show. I think that if there's one big mistake that this show does, is that it takes itself way too seriously. I mean, there's drama intensity, and then there's echoes intensity. What you see on this show is just begging to be parodied. And I couldn't keep a straight face because all of the characters are always on DEFCON 1 mood almost the entire time, especially Gina and Lenny. I'm like, dude, take a chill pill, will ya? Would somebody please get a knife and cut this tension for one minute? Look, I get that part of making an effective thriller is about not showing all your cards at first, and then you lay it out on the table when it's time for the reveals. But the way that Echoes does it is so scattered and choppy and disjointed, so much so that when it's time to finally put the pieces of the puzzle together, like I said earlier, there's no sophistication to it. It's tacky, it's uninteresting, and you can see it coming a mile away. So I'm like, really? You go through all that trouble just for this? Man, what a hot mess. One of the characters that cracks me up is the sheriff, who's so condescending in her line of questioning. She's like a southern Hercule Poirot minus all of the charms. And for whatever reason, she keeps sneaking up on Gina and Lenny. Intrusive, invasive, and stealthy as a mofo, she just keeps showing up everywhere, which is like an unintentional comedy all by itself. Now, what can I say about Michelle Monaghan? Look, I'm a big fan of Michelle Monaghan. So yeah, it sucks seeing her play this type of role. But hers is not the only talent wasted on Echoes. The same can be said about Matt Bomer. They're both stuck 
delivering these poorly written lines that make the cluelessness of their characters just extremely unbearable. Echoes is one of those cases where everything about it, from the concept, to the scripts, to the direction, to the performances, are all around appallingly bad. And by the end of it, they are the only person in the room who think they've nailed it. 